show it. This is the sub. It's running now. This inlet to the radio flows filter and it all flows into the siphon and the siphon goes into here and it feeds all the buckets. And the buckets, the small buckets, are also fed. The small buckets are single buckets, the big buckets are double buckets. So I can take them out to clean them when I harvest. That's the idea anyway. Uh, the double buckets. Um, some people who have also IBCs, uh, they need to clean the IBC uh, every two years at least. And it's like a day's work. Uh, I hope with the double buckets that I can easily take out one bucket, uh, put the media in the root bulb uh, to receive, uh, rinse it out, put it back, and that's it. So that's also the reason why I think I'll uh, not do perennials in a system, only annuals, like tomato plants, okay, basil, sure, but no fig tree, um, not that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can see the whole system as far as it is now, anyway. And I always can extend it here. The file may be longer and go wherever I want to. Okay, I'm going to close this up. This system is basically the same. The only thing is, here is the radio flow, this is the siphon, this is the drain and feed, the collection pipe. Uh, the pump is in here, the pump pumps it into the radio flow, the radio flow overflows here into this pipe and this pipe connects into the siphon so as soon as the water level in the buckets uh, fills up, it also fills up into the siphon, the siphon kicks in and drains back into the sun. Also the idea of this system was if, if I only have pipe and a little bit of glue and some cable grand nuts, although those are not even necessary, um, I can make a system. So if I'm in Africa or in a third world country or somewhere and I only have pipes, I still can make a system. Well, and buckets and hydroton of course, but the PVC I only need pipes and I can make the rest myself if I really want to. This is all thermoformed, this is thermoformed, this is thermoformed. I, of course you need a drill, you need an oven or a heat source and glue and then you're set. Right, well I choose to go with buckets instead of uh, a grow bed, like an IBC container, one meter by one meter, 30 centimeters deep, uh, six inches. Um, it's because of volume, volumes, and also because of space. Uh, the buckets I can line up I can put them wherever I want to, I can make space in between them so the plants have enough light, while in an IBC you only have one by one meter, uh, 40 by 40 inches, uh, which will be enough for four tomato plants, maybe six if you re really crowd them out, or eight even. If you have eight buckets, I only use half the media, uh, half the water, so my sump can be half as big. I only have uh, one uh, siphon, obviously, because otherwise, if every bucket needed a siphon, it would be a lot of work and a lot of taps uh, to um, have the flow controlled. And as soon as you change one um, inlet in a bucket, the other changes as well, unless you have a very big pump, which I don't want to. Uh, I try to use like 10 watts pumps, even 6 watts, um, when fish are part of the system, I probably need a bigger pump like uh, 20 or 25 watts, should be enough. I think for an IBC of 1000 liters, uh, 250 gallons. Uh, so that's the reason why I choose for buckets, um, choose an external siphon because I have buckets. Uh, it's, it's cost effective and I can, can make a layout as I want, it doesn't matter. 
uh, I can use small buckets and big buckets all in one system. The only thing is that the height of the top of the bucket should be uh, the same everywhere. And that's it. So that's why I do it. Cheers.